Mike and Gina, how are y'all doing today? Mike and Gina are clients of mine, folks. Clients of mine who live in Sacramento, right? Sacramento, California. And like every normal human being, they're like, fudge, man, Sacramento is crazy. It's in California. The landlord-tenant laws, ah, the housing prices, ah, it's out of control, right? So what they did is they sold. Uh, some of their assets where it no longer makes sense, right? The, I mean, the state is pretty much trying to legislate out private property uh, ownership, right? Uh, well, private property ownership where uh, you own more than one house. They, I mean, if you're reading the tea leaves, folks, California doesn't want private people to provide rental properties uh, to the citizens of California. I think the government is uh, trying to work it out where it all becomes public housing or you own your own home. That's going to be your only two options. That's my prediction. And also anybody else out there uh, who's guesstimating on things is is thinking the same thing, is, unless they're blind or insane. Uh, so with that said, Mike and Gina, you guys have decided to sell some of your assets and you're 1031-ing them into cash flowing assets that make sense cash flowing assets in more red markets in more affordable markets this or that right hence why you're working with your boy jay wise here because that is exactly what i help people like you do right i help california investors flee communism every day also folks if you're new to holton wise tv Please subscribe if you are interested in making fun of California and talking about how horrible it is. Because, like, we like to get off track a little bit and do that because, like, who doesn't like making fun of dirty commies? But we also like to provide you guys insight into cash flow rental properties. And that's exactly what I got for you today, Mike and Gina. I have a deal I think you guys are really going to dig. I think this is going to work perfectly uh, with the criteria you've laid out for me, right? We're talking 40 grand out of your pocket for $30,000 a year in gross rental income. Let's check it out right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. What's up, y'all? Let's get into the meat and taters, baby. That's what we're going to do. Look at this bad boy, right? Look at this thing. That's a handsome property, right? That's a nice-looking apartment building. That is a three-unit apartment building, and that three-unit apartment building is going to kick off. A lot of cash for y'all, right? Check this. Okay, look at that rent roll. $850, $850, $850. That's $2,550, $30,600, right? The address, see it right there, 1601 Grafton, Elyria, Ohio, 44035. Now, before y'all get too juicy, too excited, let me... Let me calm your titties a little bit, folks. We got to get you a little bit back down to earth here. Here's the deal. That rent roll, that is market rents. Currently, it's being rented under market rent at seven and a quarter, six hundred and six seventy five. But the market rents here in 2022 for a property like this, a triplex in Elyria, Ohio, are going to be what you see on the screen. Now, let's talk Elyria, Ohio, okay? A lot of y'all probably never heard of Elyria, Ohio. As a matter of fact, why we talk about Elyria, Ohio, why don't we just cruise through these photos, right? Let's cruise through these things, okay? So Elyria, Ohio, as you guys are checking out this cool little property, nice little three-car garage, right? Elyria, Ohio is like west of Cleveland, right? I'm sure you've all heard of the Cleveland market, right? The Cleveland market, by like, Cleveland, 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 right? It's one of the most popular cash flow markets in the USA. We're about 30 minutes west, and I actually like Elyria for investors uh, more than the actual city of Cleveland, right? Holton Wise, we operate in the greater Cleveland area. I've sold $200 million worth of real estate in the area. We do the property management, the maintenance, the construction for you, right? So the whole stuff, the whole kit and caboodle, it's all taken care of, right? So that's why we get people... People watching the show from L.A., people watching the show from New York, from New Jersey, right? People from all over, right? I got people as far away as Germany investing with us here in properties like this one in Elyria, Ohio, right? I'm pretty sure the majority of the population of Germany has never heard of Elyria, Ohio, right? 
Uh, but a lot of people have heard about the Cleveland market. This is in the Cleveland market, but the greater market, it's like 4 or 5 million people, okay? The city of Cleveland itself is only like 350,000. So the actual city of Cleveland is just a small piece of the overall pie, right? Uh, so Lyria is actually better for investors, in my opinion, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, tax rate lower. Two, price points are lower. Three, government is easier to deal with. They are more landlord-friendly. And then a bonus is over there in uh, Lorain County, that area, the general area surrounding this particular property, uh, surrounding this uh, very average looking uh, hallway that you see here, is getting two military bases. Okay, what that's going to do is bring a ton of jobs, right? So if 2022 wasn't kind enough to us investors with the high demand of rentals, it's going to get even higher in this particular area. Now, this particular tenant, holy moly, they are not moving out anytime soon, I don't think. They are set up here for the long haul, bro. They got that little jungle, little fish. Man, look at this fish. Dude, look at this guy. That's a, that's a monster right there. Look at that thing, dude. That's like a freaking... You could fillet that some... Anyway, well, let's just keep moving here, right? So you got the tenants. This is what your lower-income tenants are going to look like, right? I get a lot of people that start investing in real estate, and, and they're, they're expecting it to be fancy. It's really not fancy. This is what we're doing here, right? Because the price points are insane, right? This particular property, they're only asking 155000 for it, right? 155000 and you get three tenants. Let's bring up that rent roll again, right? Look at that. All we got to do is take the... Uh, <clears throat> take the current tenants, right? Got to take the current tenants. Just increase their rents, tiny amounts up to market rent. Twenty five fifty, thirty thousand six hundred for the entire year. You saw those plants and all that stuff. That big fish tank. That chick ain't moving out, dude. You give her a little tiny rent increase, she don't want to go anywhere. She is set up for the long haul, right? So thirty thousand six hundred dollars. I believe I can get the asking price from 155 down to 150 for you. And if you want to know how much money that's going to make you, you better stick around after this. At Holton Wise, we help people achieve financial freedom through passive real estate investments. We provide a complete set of turnkey real estate services, including property acquisition, property management, home renovation, and much more. But most importantly, at Holton Wise, it's all about our people first culture. We put people over profits. Simply put, at Holton Wise, we care. I like working at Holton Wise because it's really for the people and the culture. When I'm here, I feel like I can work as myself. I run Holton Wise like an open book. If anybody has any questions about what we do or how we do it, we got nothing to hide here at Holton Wise. We do what we say we're gonna do, and then we do it. This place is really for the community. We buy houses, we sell houses, we rent houses, we do it all. My leadership style at Holton Wise, it's all about leading by example. I want to show people that even in a stressful business like real estate investment, we always need to keep our cool and act professional. I love working with James and in my position, I get to work with James one-on-one -on -one every single day. James is a people pleaser, he's a people person, he's a real philanthropist. They don't tear you down at Holton Wise, it's all about building people up. What the are you two lazy pieces of doing in here, huh? Always, always, always just sitting on your never doing any work. Do you want me to place you girls with robots? Is that what you like? You want me to place you with robots, John? Huh? You want me to place with a robot? Even in my position, it can be very stressful dealing with tenants. That's why James always makes sure that my head is in a great place. When making mistakes at Holton Wise, they don't get angry, they don't get mad, they don't yell at you. They just give you a gentle nudge in the right direction. It's the professionalism. You know, nothing too crazy happens at the office. Everything's pretty low key. From the moment I started working with Holton Wise, it was clear to me that I wasn't just another customer. I was like family. I think good leaders ask, how can we increase the bottom line? 
how can we increase profitability? But here, I want to be a great leader. And what great leaders ask is how can I serve my employees, my customers, my people, the community? All right, folks, welcome back. Thank you for uh, <clears throat> taking a gander at that. That's just how we operate things here at the Holton Wise, right? So as you can see, I'm a pretty cool pretty cool guy to work for man you work with me it's like i'm cool as a cucumber you know what i'm saying now i told y'all all y'all that stuck around i would go over how much money this is going to make but before i do that before i get off this picture here i just want to take you guys' attention to these things right here man these are some high ticket items right see that furnace dude that's like a brand new furnace i don't know if it's exactly brand new but it's darn close and you know what that is awesome because those things cost about thirty five hundred dollars to replace and they last about 30 years, right? Hot water tanks cost about 1200 last lasts about 15 I say that to you because it's important because right now I'm going to tell you how much I think this property is going to make for you, right? So market rent, 30600 for the year. And as you see on the chart, I got all your fixed and variable expense estimate projections on the screen, right? And uh, capital expenditures, right? 1530 It's not like you're spending 1530 every year. What that is is I'm taking large big ticket items like a furnace for instance right at one point the year you're going to replace it boom you're dropping 3500 likewise at one point you're going to replace a roof right a roof's going to be like 10 g's on a property like this right so we break that down and average it out for you so you guys can get a true understanding of what this property is really going to produce for you right because some people will just tell you like oh dude you're going to make 30 grand a year but you're not right because you got all these things you got to factor in so in reality you should be on average kicking off around 16 grand a year in profit on a house like this, right? And then you go in and finance that sucker, right? You put down 37 and a half, bank kicks in 112 and a half. That should project out to a long-term cash on cash return of around 26%, assuming we can get your tenants up to market rent, the market rents they gave you. They're a little bit lower right now, but we just give them a little bit of rental increases, as I said. To me, these tenants, they don't appear to be tenants that want to move out anytime soon. But hey, if you do have somebody move out, that's just part of the game, right? Uh, you can't invest in real estate. You can't invest in these you know, mid to low income properties and assume your tenants are going to live there for 30 years. If they planned on living there for 30 years, they probably have just bought a house. You know what I'm saying? So by the nature of the beast, uh, multifamily investors, you need to understand your tenants are a little transient, but that's okay because if we go back to the chart, you see your vacancy and non-payment of rent, right? I've already factored that in, right? Fifteen thirty a year on average, right? When people move out every couple of years or so, you got to do a little bit of work. You don't get rent the months they're gone, obviously, till we get a new tenant. So I factored that in, right? It's not my, uh, you know first uh, rodeo, so to speak, right? That's just how the cookie crumbles in the jungle, though, folks. That's why we break this stuff down for you, right? So assuming you get them up without having to do an unnecessary turn, like I said, you're looking at around 26% cash on cash return uh, projection. If you got to do a turn, you're probably looking at like four or five grand a unit uh, after they move out. It's kind of hard to exactly pinpoint how much it'll be because you don't know what they're going to leave it like. But the kitchens and the baths and everything looked pretty good to me. I just think you're going to be probably repainting the entire unit, maybe patching some holes, fixing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But, you know, no big deal, right? When you get people living in a unit for four, five, six, seven years, right? There's going to be some wear and tear that you as the landlord got to pay for. Uh, that's just how it goes. But all told, the numbers on this just make sense, folks. So let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.